we owe him a thanks because he has given you and I another day to live his own life. So beloved, we have to thank him in a prayer. Shall we pray? Mighty Lord, the Savior, covenanted God. What a wonderful father that today also around the whole world, you have given us a life. We own you. We have to thank you because you are the owner of life. May your name be praised and adored. May your name be magnified. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God. What a loving father. I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for giving us a day like this. May your name be praised forever and forever. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah, brethren of the Lord. It is him alone that can do this for us. And today is another day. He has given us a word. And the title of the message is Heaven is Worthy to Suffer for. Hallelujah. This is where you and I are trying to go. But we have to fulfill our duty and commandment so that we can be with him. So without wasting time, let us read the scripture. That is Second Peter 2 to 17. And I read, hallelujah. But there was, there were also false prophets among the people, even us, there will be a false teaching. Beloved, this is by Peter telling us, around the whole world, there are a false prophets. So let us be aware. I continue. There will be a false teaching among you who will secretly bring the destruction, heresies, even denying the Lord, who brought them and brought them themselves straight for a destruction. They will, some people will deny almighty Jehovah. But beloved, are you going to be, is it going to be well with you? We continue. Two, and many will follow the destruction way because of whom the way of the truth will be blackstained by covetousness. They will exploit you with deception ways. For a long time, their judgment has not been adult and their destruction does not slumber. Yes. They will deceive people. So let us be aware. For, for if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them onto chains of darkness to be served for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but save Noah, but save Noah one of the eight people and a preacher of righteousness. Beloved, hear what is he saying? He is letting us to know the flood about Sodom and Gomorrah. So he is reminding us that it was only Noah and the eight people that were saved. And Noah did what? He preached about the gospel. But did the people listen? They did not. 
So let us continue. And did not spare the ancient world, but save Noah, one of the eight people, and preach the righteousness, bringing the flood of the world of ungodly. Six, and turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Yes, he is the owner of life. He is the creator of the universe. That's why he is almighty Jehovah. With him, all things are possible. So beloved, let us hear our God. We continue. Making them example of those who afterward will live ungodly. So this Sodom and Gomorrah was an example for you and I. And here he is telling us, those who live ungodly, they would be consumed by the almighty God. He is in charge because he created the earth. He is the owner. Let us continue serving and deliver the righteous Lord who was opposed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. For the righteous dwell among them, tender his righteous soul from today, today by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Nine, then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and deserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. 10, and especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness and despise authority. They are pre-consumers. They are pre-consumers, self-will. They are not afraid. Speak evil of dignities. Where as an angel who are greater in the power and might, do not bring revering accusation against them before the Lord. 12. But those like natural brute beasts made to be cut into destroyed, speak evil of things. They do not understand. They will utter perish in their own corruption. 13. And they will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who counted pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are stopped and blemished, arousing in their own deception while they feast with you, 14. Having eyes full of adultery that they cannot curse from sin, exciting unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetous practices and accused children. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Ba and the son of Baal, who love the wages of unrighteousness. 16, but he was rebuked for his iniquity, a dumb donkey, speaking with man's voice, straying the madness of the prophet, the last verse. These are well without water cloud, carrying by tempest, for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Beloved, this is so serious. The ungodly will be restrained and reserved 
for the blackness of darkness forever. That is hell. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of almighty Jehovah. So beloved, this message has to be taken serious because this is the end time. Deception is so abound. False prophets are around. They deceive people. So Second Peter is telling us, we should be aware, deception, deception. So beloved, are you willing to serve the almighty Jehovah, the one who created you, the one who knows you, your creator, the one who loves you, the one who forms you, taking care of you and I up to now. What a mighty Jehovah, God Almighty. He is worthy to be saved. He is lovely and in truth. So beloved, this life does not belong to us. It belongs to him. He take care of us. This life, he owns it. So beloved, this morning, are you willing to run away from your filthy sins and to come and serve God? It is those who doesn't know him. Today is the day of repentance. So are you willing to change your dubious ways? Are you willing to accept Christ as your personal savior? Only today is for you and I. Tomorrow doesn't belong to us. It is in guarantee. But at least today, you are alive. I am alive. So the ungodly, how long can you continue serving the unfilteredness ways, the ungodly ways, the handmade goals? They are all deception. They cannot help you. So beloved in Christ, the owner is coming soon. And that day, where are you heading to? It is only today to repent. What a mighty king. What a mighty Lord. He has given us the word. It is up to those who does not know him to repent. And those who know him, may we do the right thing before him and keep his commandments. Sooner and sooner, the trumpet will sound. And that day, where are you heading to? King of glory, we thank you for your message. We need this message because this is end time. Deception is so rampant. Deception is so many. The fake prophets. So beloved, let us be aware. We give God the glory for the message that we have acquired today. It is time to change. It is time to accept him. May his will shall be upon us. Thank you, covenanted God. Holy Spirit, your word has come forth. Those who want to hear the word, they will take the word. We give you all the glory for giving us the utterance for your word to come forth. Oh, spirit of the living God, we thank you, thank you, thank you that your children are still breathing. You have done so much for us. Spirit of the living God, this is the end time. May you bless your end time prophets that you have assigned him to win souls for you. May you protect and guide him and also the wife and also the children and also his viewers that avail themselves in a daily basis to listen to the end time prophet. We thank you. We give you all the glory, spirit of the living God. And may the viewers 
that listen to Prophet Kenewu in a daily basis, may you bless them. May their heart desire be met by you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We thank the Lord for giving us the message. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As the word has come. In Jesus Christ, your name is only your word that can transform life. We give you all the glory. In Jesus, your name, your word has come forth. Amen.